There's a new brewery you can check out in Hazel Park that specializes in beer, cider, and mead. It's called Cellarman's, and I, you, I guess these guys are the Cellarman. Joining me this morning is its owner, uh, Ian Radigus Givens and uh, Jason Petrosic. Good morning, and we also have a couple of other guys here. Who did you bring with you? Uh, <laughs> over here we have uh, Andrew Zalewski. He's okay. one of our employees and helpers as well. We also have our salesman, Dominic Calzetta. Right. Why did you guys decide to open the Cellarman? Uh, we just have a passion of alcohol and uh, we just wanted to open up in a real cool town, be the town's uh, brewery and yeah. Now, everyone knows what beer is. Yep. Yeah, most people know what cider is, but mead is not something that most people are familiar with. What is mead and what's the difference between the three? Mead is a fermented alcohol with honey. So that's your main sugar. With cider, you use the apple juice to ferment on. With beer, you have the grain. And uh, with mead, slowly but surely, it's, uh, it's catchy on as an alcohol. Um, and uh, kind of you're like, it was a red and festy kind of alcohol, and now it's turning into more popular of a drink. Now, with the honey, does that make it sweeter than, for instance, the beer that uses the grain? Uh, it all depends on where you want the uh, sweetness to be at mm -hmm. within. So you can have something very cloy uh, and all that to just bone dry like Chardonnay almost. Okay. So you can really control uh, sort of the sweetness in there. And you guys yep. do the brewing on site? Yes. yes. All right. And when did you guys... How did you guys meet? I mean, where did this come from? Um, well, these two have known each other since what, about the fifth grade or probably, no, preschool. Um, wow. And then the three of us all met in uh, middle school and then we all started working together with him at our last place of employment and uh, been hanging out for the past five to seven years, way yeah. too much. <laughs> so what niche did you see? You know something, there are lots of places, there are lots of breweries, lots of craft breweries. And of course you can go to places locally and get craft brews from all over the world, all yeah. over the country. Yep. What market space did you see? You know something, we need to go out and create the Cellarman. What was missing? Um, we didn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? That's a great economic driver, right? I need a job, so I'm going to create one. So yeah. that's fantastic. So what did you guys bring here today? Uh, we brought our Moscow Miel, uh, which is a Moscow Mule-inspired mead. We brought our pineapple uh, cider, and then our uh, it's a chocolate stout we just made for this weekend. It's called Boogeyman. It's called Boogeyman. Can you tell me a little bit about the flavor profiles? The chocolate's out, and I can see it's, yep. a, it's a darker and richer. Oh, yeah. Uh, so pineapple cider pretty much explains itself. It's just pineapple and cider. And then uh, the Moscow Miel is all fresh ginger and fresh lime. Everything we do fruit-wise is all fresh fruit, no concentrates or anything mm -hmm. like that. So so where are you guys located? We're uh, at 24310 John R. Road uh, in Hazel Park. Mm -hmm. um, it's about two blocks north of Woodward Heights. Right, and that's a, a, ho a hopping area now. You know, you oh, have yeah. a lot of development oh, there, yeah. a lot of new restaurants. So yeah. uh, if you're looking for a new place to check out, go check out the Cellarman and check out what else is going on there in Hazel Park. After, thank you guys for joining us oh, this yeah, morning. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. After the break, a behavioral analyst with the Macomb County Regional Center will join us to talk about taking kids with autism out for trick-or-treating. You don't want to miss that.